The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and e-book formats on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and sponsored by international award-winning author Mia Mohsen Zia of Missing. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews in Evil Love and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms in 110 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music, and now playing on HamiltonRadio.net, Oldies Radio, and also um, Diamonds FM and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show at the on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com. Dot com and check out the Mike Wagner Show podcast for t-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and more. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once and Wrinkles, also cool merchandise like t-shirts, pop sockets, phone cases, hoodies, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. Also, don't forget to support the Mike Wagner Show on Anchor FM. Hey, pal, the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. At the Mike Widener Show, make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's backed by popular demand from Atlanta, Georgia, now based in Los Angeles. And um, how they got started, it was funded by fans who Kickstarter. And uh, this wonderful gentleman played with Chris Knight, Graham Colton, Jake Clemens of the E Street Band. And uh, they played at the Whiskey Go-Go and the Oliver Room. And... A Viper Room, we should say. Also, we have him on the show before. We last talked about um, American Refugee with Ghost of My Hometown. Also, Empires with California Come Home, New World Order, and more. We're going to talk about a brand new release where it just takes you into the light in volumes. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in somewhere along the West Coast. Um, back by popular the man, the amazing um, singer-songwriter, Gene Owens. Gene, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again of Faithless Town. Thank you, Mike. It's a pleasure to be back on the show. Well, it's great to have you on back as well, too. And um, you guys, uh, Faithless Town, have been around for quite some time. We talked about your um, releases like American Refugee, Empires, and more. And now you've got a new one called Into Light Volume 1, which uh, we'll be playing one of your tracks as well, too. And um, we talked about um, the last release, and uh, and I think it was American Refugee. And, um, you know, tell us more about that. Um, how, is it, how is it doing these days since we last talked? Um, well, yeah, actually, I think the last time I was on the show was back in 2020. Mm -hmm. And we I was on to promote a single called What I'm Dreaming Of. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know, came out at a time the country was crazy. There was the, you know, the pandemic, the, the riots that were happening, a lot of tumultuous things happening uh, in society. 
And we put out that song and I came on the show to promote it. And uh, it, it was accompanied with a really colorful 2D animated music video, kind of in the style of South Park. Um, well, that that song ended up being kind of the first song of this this new album that we have. It was kind of the impetus that I think informed the uh, the other tunes on the record. So, um, you know, that song is all about love and finding commonality bet- uh, amongst uh, in, you know our neighbors and seeing where what we uh, have in common instead of where we disagree or what divides us. And um, that kind of sense of like unity and love and kind of is, uh, a thread that I think is going to go through this this album into the light volume one which is um the first part of a two-part album and the the second part volume two is going to come out later this year in the fall and together it'll make like a, a full lp if you will mm-hmm. and, and of course uh, you also had some others too like california come home new world order and everything else and maybe you can just um tell us a bit more about the some of the songs in there like live free coal Coal Mining Man and more, and, uh, you know, just uh, tell us a bit more about the songs we inspired you to write them. Absolutely. So we've released a couple si- singles already before the album was released. The album came out on April 29th, but before the album dropped, we released Live Free and Coal Mining Man. Um, Live Free is, is basically a celebration of freedom. That's another theme that runs through this this album. It's a, it's an album about love, freedom, and truth. And um, seeing through all the divisive things that are kind of pushed onto us by, by the media and by our own governments um, and trying to, you know, realize that we have more in common than, than we have different and um, to and breathe free and live free. And the, the second single, Coal Mining Man, was inspired by uh, a blog I, I had read on the Daily Yonder. It's a um, there's a, a blog about um, this gentleman spent 18 years as an underground coal miner in eastern Kentucky. And it was um, it, it, it really resonated with me, just kind of the hardship and the crazy life that these these young men uh, lead in that line of work. And it's also kind of a, a line of work and a way of life that is rapidly disappearing as, you know, there's a push towards trying to find cleaner, more renewable sources of energy. Um, a lot of the coal mines and the mills are, are closing down. And so, um, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to write, write that story. I felt like that's uh, from that perspective of that group of people. And it, it, maybe it's not um, a perspective that's shared widely. And I, I just kind of wanted to, to mine that pun intended uh (laughs) (laughs) to um yeah and it that became the second single off this album coal mining man Mm -hmm. he also had as well too like berkshire and also uh live free and someone to think of do not comply and maybe just um a bit about those and we'll be playing one of those um later as well too and one of them will be playing the song as well too but first maybe just uh, pick another song or two that you like to talk about what inspired as well Sure. Um, so, uh, not goodbye, which I think you're going to play later in, in in this broadcast, mm-hmm. um, is um, I, kind of the the first single now that the album has dropped that we're pushing, and it is it's very British Brit pop inspired. There's a lot of kind of uh, British influences on this record, from kind of Beatlesy harmonies to um, backwards guitars we have some reverse guitar effects on our opening track berkshire um we are just real kind of into um british influences you know like one of the first bands i ever connected with oddly enough not british but uh ripped off a lot of the brit and british invasion bands and that was the monkeys Oh, you know, yeah. That's one of our favorites, too. We had a couple of people on the show who are huge monkey fanatics. That's a, yeah, that was a pretty interesting show, gotta say that. I mean, they're great in concert, but of course, you know, three of them that passed on to rock and roll heaven got one that's left. I know, just Mickey Dolans is, is the last man standing. Um, he, he has always been my favorite monkey. 
But, you know, the, the monkeys were basically like uh, these network uh, television guys wanted to capitalize on Beatlemania. And so they put together this this band of uh, of actors, essentially. I think only one of them could play an instrument when they put the band together and, uh, you know, just copying the Beatles. Uh, but they had amazing songs and uh, great songwriters. Uh, and so anyway, the monkeys, the Beatles, the Who... Uh, more modern British influences like Oasis and Liam Gallagher. I was listening to that one of the re- the last Liam Gallagher album a ton. I think when I was writing these songs, so there's a lot of that kind of British influence on um, uh, most of these tunes, especially Berkshire, Not Goodbye, What I'm Dreaming Of, uh, Live Free. Like um, it, it, it's got a lot of kind of like shoegaze Brit pop influence like um like the verve and that kind of more psychedelic british sound and then um someone to think of is kind of like pop punk just very reminiscent of 90s early 2000s pop punk with a little replacements uh influence and then do not comply the the closer track is musically it's um very different than anything else on the on the record it's almost like carnival music mm-hmm. um it's, it's very uh i would say that's probably where my the doors is another band i love I, I love the 60s in general um and i think you can definitely hear the doors influence on that track it's got this very kind of circusy carnival music vibe Mm hmm. Yeah, that sounds rather fascinating as well, too. And of course, so we'll talk uh, very briefly about um, volume two to be released in the fall. We'll be playing um, Not Goodbye in just one minute. You listen to the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Widener Show dot com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios dot com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with um, Gene Owens of Faithless Town and Not Goodbye. After this time out. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to the Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with Gene Owens of Faithless Town with uh, Into the Light here on the Mike Widener Show. Right now, here's one of the tracks we talked about with Not Goodbye. Here's Gene Owens of Faithless Town with Not Goodbye on the Mike Widener Show. If you see her waiting down by the sea If her eyes are looking to the sky for me Tell her that I want
Great song, Gene Owens, and that was Faithless Town. Not goodbye here on the Mike Wagner Show. Once again, where can we find uh, Into the Light at, and especially Not Goodbye? Into the Light is available everywhere. Digital music is sold and streamed, so you'll find it on Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, Bandcamp, you name it. Uh, you just you look for it. It is out there to be downloaded and streamed. Mm -hmm. And then volume two coming up as well, too. Once again, gives a bit a bit of a sneak peek on uh, what to expect. Yes. Yeah, so volume two is kind of all the more mellow acoustic songs, uh, whereas volume one is the more like full band rock and roll tunes. Right. So it's kind of like volume one is side A of the record and got like these big rock songs starts with Berkshire. That's a very like who inspired uh and and not goodbye which we just heard is a very upbeat and um you know just scorching guitar solo and real cool organ effects um whereas volume two is going to be much more sparse pared down there's some tracks where it's just me and an acoustic guitar there's other songs where it's me and uh our guitar player playing acoustic and just harmonizing so um yeah, that's what to expect. It's going to be a kind of a more subdued, mellow uh, vibe for, for Volume 2, which hopefully will be out this fall, maybe in November. And who knows, maybe maybe you'll have me back on and we can uh, play some songs off Volume 2 when it comes out. Oh, that'd be great. And uh, will we spe be expecting a Volume 3, like a trilogy? Or what's coming up uh, after uh, Volume 2? Oh, no, I think I think volume two will just be the end of it. You know, I, I see it as really like an LP, uh, like a full full length record. But the way the the way the industry is, the way people consume music now is so weird and, and not the way that like, you know, when we were coming up, I know we're probably not from the same generation. But like when I was coming up, I was buying CDs. Mm -hmm. um, I even remember getting, you know, I started with tapes and I remember and that. Was, yes. Uh huh. I, audio cassettes yeah and then you got the single cassettes then you got the cds the mini cds and then all of a sudden it's like we revert back to uh the vinyl yeah and, and vinyl's awesome and i, I hope you know it, i would love to make vinyl of this record when it's all finished we're definitely going to do at least uh, a short run of cds for anybody who actually likes physical media um I, you know, I'm a physical media junkie. I still buy books, paper books, you know, <laughs> and not just Kindle, not just getting stuff off the cloud. Cause you never know, like you lose your internet connection or something goes down and you lose access to all that media. But if you have, if you have a CD collection or a vinyl collection or a, a library of books, you always have that there to enjoy. Um, so. Yeah, but getting back to your question, Volume 2 is going to end this record. And then beyond that, I'm not really sure uh, what will come afterward because I, I still got to record Volume 2. <laughs> So mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll get there when we'll cross that bridge when, when when we get there. Of course, going into light, we certainly will do so. And once again, where can we find uh, Into Light and all your music at, Gene? You can. Uh, the easiest place is to go to faithlesstown.com. And you'll have links to find all our stuff on there. And we also have some great shows coming up. I'm not sure when this episode of Mike Wagner show is going to air, but um, in uh, May 27th, we have a great show with Handsome Jack at Smith's Old Bar in Atlanta. And then July 16th, we're playing a show in Nashville at the Cobra with uh, one of my favorite artists, Five Times August. In my opinion, he's the Bob Dylan of our generation. Uh, and we're also playing that show with Campbell Harrison and Ryan Christian of The Last American Vagabond. It's going to be stellar. Tickets are on sale for that now. You can find out more about that at FaithlessTown.com. We certainly would do so. Once again, Gene, a very big thank you for your time. Gene Owens of uh, Faithless Town here on the Mike Wagner Show. Always a big thank you for your time. And um, love to have you back. And once again, um, tell us uh, what's your website, how do people contact you, and where can people purchase? Again, what's your website, how do people get a hold of you? faithlesstown.com is our official website we're on all the social medias so instagram facebook tiktok all that good stuff and you can get our new record uh we prefer if you get it at Bandcamp because we get the biggest share of that and they they support artists um but you if you're streaming it find it on title apple music uh spotify all that jazz 
We certainly will do. So, hey, there's something for you. You can play some jazz on the next one. You just came up with a spoiler just about. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, Gene, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Great to have you back and look forward to having you again soon. Just keep us up to date. Keep in touch. And we wish you all the best. you got a great future and looking forward to having you on again, Gene. Thanks, Mike. Talk to you soon. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. Brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosinzia of Missing and powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms and, of course, on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net, and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>